Hi, my name is Bibi steinhaus Webb. I'm the director of the Select Group Women's Professional Game within PGMWell. And together with the help of some colleagues, we would like to provide you an overview of the law changes for season 23-24 and give you some advice and guidance around their application. Let's start with Law 3, the players. This change clarifies when the referee should take action against an extra person on the field of play when a goal is scored. The referee should only take action when the additional person on the field of play has an impact on play. So, for example, a substitute of the team who scores a goal encroaches onto the field of play but does not impact play should not be penalized. The goal should be awarded and a yellow card for entering the field of play without the permission of the referee can still be given. Let's continue with Law 6, the other match officials. Increasingly, many major finals see a reserve assistant referee being appointed, also known as FIFS official. These officials are full members of the refereeing team and the change in law permits them to assist the referee in the same way than all the other on-field officials. The IFAB has been closely looking at ways to enhance effective playing time and has amended Law 7, which is the duration of the match. To emphasise the significant impact that goal celebrations have in terms of restarting the match, allowance for additional time now includes goal celebrations as a separate bullet point. Effective playing time and delaying tactics are amongst the key points of emphasis across season 23-24 in all competitions. Law 10 typically comes into play when cup matches are to be decided. The IFAB is keen to develop a more football friendly language and so what was kicked from the penalty mark is now referred to as penalties or penalty shootout. In addition to the change in language, there is a practical change too. Before a penalty shootout takes place, all warnings and cautions issued to players are not carried forward and this provision now also applies to team officials. For 2022-2023 season, the IFAB have issued some guidance on what determines deliberate play. Although the interpretation hasn't changed, the guidance has now been included in Law 11, Offside. The additional wording clarifies the considerations for differentiating what's deliberate play and deflection. Deliberate play specifically makes reference to a controlled action by the defender with the possibility of passing the ball to a teammate, gaining possession of the ball or clearing the ball. We have issued guidance on this previously. However, just as a reminder, the key considerations are the distance the ball has travelled, having a clear view of the ball at all times, the speed of the ball, the direction of the ball not being unexpected, and the player having time to coordinate their body movement. Moving on to Law 12, Fouls and Misconduct. The IFAB have provided additional clarification in relation to a denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity. Inside the penalty area, in addition to awarding a penalty, the referee will show a yellow card where the foul is an attempt to play the ball or challenge for the ball. Clear holding, pulling, Pushing with no possibility to play the ball remains a red card for Dogzo, as does any Dogzo that is outside the penalty area. In addition, the IFAB have clarified that if someone from the technical area, substitute, substituted player, sent off player, or team official cannot be identified by the match officials, the senior team coach will receive the sanction. However, this only applies if the offender is in the surroundings of the technical area and does not apply to offences by players who cannot be identified. So, for example, the offender is warming up close to the corner flag, the coach cannot receive the sanction. Participants' behaviour on the pitch and in the technical area is another key point of emphasis for season 23-24, with match officials playing their part in a whole game approach. Finally, to Law 14, the penalty kick. There has been greater scrutiny on the behaviour of the goalkeeper and the IFAB have introduced guidance to prevent goalkeepers from showing a lack of respect to the penalty taker. 
Referees should be proactive in the first place. However, where the goalkeeper behaves in any way that unfairly distracts the kicker or delays the taking of the kick, a yellow card should be issued.